Hi, I'm Matt Bennett. Um, I'm honored to be sitting here in Pasadena, California for my third year working with Young and Healthy. Uh, I was introduced to the concept of trauma-informed care back around 2003 when I saw the Adverse Childhood Experience study that Kaiser Permanente did in San Diego, California. And uh, that was so important for me and my work uh, because I was working a lot with children at the time that we, we used, at the time we were calling them at-risk youth uh, who were having trouble with the criminal justice system and regular school systems. And we really did in psychology as I was being trained as a therapist have an understanding about why they got locked in the, these traps of these cycles of behaviors and, and always seemed to struggle. And once the Adverse Childhood Experience came, uh, study came out, it really started to show us the connection between uh, childhood trauma and uh, both brain development um, and success in education, later on in employment and things like housing. And so we know kids with um, adverse childhood experiences are two time, 2.5 times more likely to fail a grade, but we see things like uh, five times more likely to struggle with addiction, um, homelessness, criminal justice um, abuse. So it's starting to put all these, um, not only individual problems, but also a lot of the social problems um, that we've seen. So the great thing about this movement that the, the ACE study and, and Kaiser started was it started to open up all these doors in the helping professions and public health to say how can we do things different to get better health outcomes and social outcomes for, for the people uh, that we serve. To, yeah, we want to help someone without a house get a home. We want to help someone with a disease get the medication they need to treat the disease. But a lot of times if we don't ask what happened to this person and look for the underlying problem, it's like a game of whack-a-mole. So we might treat the disease but another social problem comes up. Or we might address the social problem and then a psychological diagnosis comes up. And so the challenge of the ACE study and Trauma Informed is that how do we not only help the person with some of the symptoms they come in for, but also address the underlying problem. And so what, what I love about what Kaiser's doing, um, what uh, Young and Healthy is doing here in Pasadena, is getting the word out and giving capacity for people um, like Young and Healthy to not only say, okay, how can we become trauma-informed as a health organization, but how can we help our community, our policymakers, our school district become trauma-informed as well? Yes. Thank you for your time and all your work.